Today, I'm gonna be ranking every single map in Murder Mystery 2. So basically, there's like this tiering system which you can rate certain things. And S tier means it's like the best one out of everything else. And D tier is like the worst. And of course, we have A, B, and C in the middle. But when I'm done raking these maps, make sure that like and subscribe button and tell me what you would do differently. Anyways, let's get right into ranking the maps. <laughs> All right, so to start off our ranking, we have Bank 2. Uh, Bank 2 is actually not that bad of a map. It has like a pretty big variety. You can go in like vents and stuff, and there's an upstairs, and as well, there's a secret room in there as well. But I just don't really like how like the bank vault is set up because it's really easy to get into, and it's not really like that creative. I feel like it's just really bland in some areas. So I would put Bank 2 in the B tier. Next is Beach House. I actually never heard of this map at all i don't even think this ever existed so let's just put it in s tier because if there was a beach house that would be legit insane w summer update next we have biolab biolab is legit one of the biggest maps there are and it's very very amazing and you can go in so many areas but it's just really like copy and paste because it's just completely gray color scheme isn't too good but i do love like the openness of it so let's put an a tier next we have factory the factory is like one of the best maps there's an outside there's an inside and an underground it's just like very very open and wide and very creative and the detail in it is really good so factory goes into s tier now i'm not a really big fan of hospital 3 hospital 3 is like not that nice like hospital 3 is like a really small map i know there's two floors and two little like vents that you can go in but i'm just not a fan of it but it is not the worst map so i'd put it in c tier Hotel 2 is actually another great map. It's really big and there's so many floors to it, but it's really annoying if you're trying to look for somebody. So I think I'm going to put it in B tier. House 2 is always a W map. It's really nice and big and it's really open. And I love how there's an outside in the garage. So let's go ahead and put it in the A tier. Next, we have Mansion 2. Mansion 2 is a great map, but the main thing I hate about Mansion 2 is if you're a murderer, you can just like never kill anybody because they're just going to circle around that like area infinitely so you legit can never catch them so mansion 2 i'll put you in c tier now mill base is like the best map out there mill base is my favorite map it's so open there's an underground inside outside and it's so big and wide and it's really easy to like hide and find people so if you're innocent or a murderer it's really fun so i feel mill base is for sure in s tier next we have nightclub i've never seen that before i've never heard of a nightclub map so let's just put it in d tier uh i'm sorry if you guys know what that is i don't know but nightclub would actually be a cool map if we actually got to explore it some more and studio is pretty good there's an underground and there's like a side area which you can go into but i'm just not a big fan of n studio the colors are like pop and they're pretty good but n studio just isn't the best so let's put it in c tier so office 2 and office 3 are pretty alike it's just office 2 doesn't have the vent system that office 3 has they're basically the same thing just office 3 has vents that actually gives it so much more mobility so i would put office 2 in c tier and office 3 in a tier because office 3 is like a pretty good map police station is not the worst map and it has like a big variety you can go underground you can go upstairs so there's like a pretty big map but i feel like the design of it is just not too well because there's like random lockers like i get it's a police station but i just don't think it would be like i don't think it would look like that and plus there's just a random car in there like what's going on the police station i'll put you in b tier just because i like the openness workplace is like my least favorite one of my least favorite maps like if you're trapped somewhere you there's like no way you can run away or get anywhere nicholas should make a workplace too it'd be really good if they added some vent systems or something like that so i want to put a workplace in c workshop is a great map i love how many like i love all the features of it i love how there's a gift shop you can see santa sleigh in there as well as you can turn yourself into an elf or i'd put a tier because it's just really good mineshaft was a great map when it released but they actually made another mineshaft for halloween which was actually really fun it was so open and it was the whole time we were underground so mineshaft for sure is going to s tier because it's just like an amazing addition and last but not least we have research facility research facility is a pretty good map it's nice and open and you have so many features to do you can like duplicate yourself you can clone yourself and you can like, give yourself cool effects and there's even teleporters you can use to just like get around quicker as well as vents so you can go into some secret areas i don't think it's as good as the rest of the maps but research facility definitely going to a tier anyways this is my rating of all the maps on mm2 or the maps that we currently have if you guys agree with me hit that like and subscribe button if you don't agree with me comment down below what you think your 
favorite map is and what would you do differently from my list. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.